Hi all, I'm just here, I'm just going to do a really quick video um, just to show you how I edit my watercolour in Photoshop. So I've already pretty much done it, but I just, I'll go back and show you kind of what I've done quickly. So I use Photoshop, I scan in my image um, as a JPEG and 300 DPI, so I try and make it um, high resolution. So if you go up into image and image size, you'll see that it's a 300 ppi which is perfect kind of for printing. Um, so as soon as I open it in Photoshop I duplicate the layer as you can see down here so that it um, it's like a copy because you don't want to make any changes to your original otherwise you'll be stuffed if you make a mistake. So there it is back to the original it's got you can see like all the pencil marks and it's got um, the little mistakes I made with erasing too soon, like smudges and little smudges here. So once I've duplicated it, I use the magic wand tool and I select it all and basically remove the background, which is how that comes like that. Now after that, I uh, adjust the colors and the hues and things like that so I use the curves and I kind of play around just making sure that it looks really nice and then I use the hues and saturation um, layer over here mask and I I prefer to like pick the individual colors just because um, my greens tend to come up quite yellow when they're scanned and I like to bring them back down to more of a kind of brownie green. So I use this to do that. So that's greens and I kind of adjust the lightness and add a little bit of um, more green rather than yellow and little things like that. I then use the erase tool and I go and I erase all the lines and I like removed this flower that was just really sloppy and things like that and then I use the spot healing tool which um, I then kind of I really like to zoom in really close and get right into it and I use the spot healing tool just to get rid of any of those really like ugly pencil lines that you kind of didn't get rid of straight away and things like that and that just really neatens it up and one like this is quite where it bleeds quite pretty um, you need to kind of really use the erase tool there and you can kind of just come along and you can just kind of perfect it all up a little bit and yes yeah, so that's basically what I do and then from there I um, save it with a transparent background and then I play it around with in the final thing which for this particular piece will be a logo design so anyway I hope you um, enjoyed that and I know it doesn't really tell you how to do it but I just wanted to give you like a little bit of behind the scenes so yeah enjoy bye